Okay, this is a good one. So this is a video, somebody's responding to a video I did a few years ago about the SSCP, the Security Plus, and then I also mentioned degrees up to a master's degree. And I said something to the effect of, I think if I remember, I haven't watched the video in a long time, so I don't remember what I said. <laughs> but I think I said something like, experience is better than a degree and a degree is better than certifications and what a degree gives you is it shows employers that you're that you're disciplined but in and of itself I've, I've met a lot of people with the master's degrees that weren't weren't the most skilled people in the world i said something to that effect i wasn't trying to disrespect people with a master's degree or a bachelor's degree i was just telling my experience with people with degrees it's not you would think that people have a degree they have a gigantic brain and they're going around cracking codes and stuff and that's just not you know it's just a piece of paper <laughs> but it, it does give you discipline and stuff it shows that you have work ethic and yeah i mean I, I think you can get skills from it so maybe i might have misspoke anyway so joseph jefferson says okay good explanation until your last critique of master's degrees. A master's degree does not determine your intelligence from a worldly perspective. However, it does determine your intelligence in a specific or specific area. If you do not pass the thesis defense, for example, or you are not prepared to orally explain a project and defend it, you don't get that master's degree. As far as information technology and systems is concerned topics in depth such as risk and project management are mandatory and are not as in depth as one certification finally as you correctly stated the discipline of a master's degree is harder than taking just one certification exam yeah i can't disagree with that i, mean, I guess it depends on the degree you're getting depends on how much you apply yourself there's a lot of factors it's just that I guess when I went first went into IT, I always thought that when I would meet a master person with a master's degree, they'd be like on a pedestal, you know. In my mind, they were like this, you know, oh, on their head, a halo around them. But, you know, there's nothing really special. Like, <laughs> it's just like, honestly, you had people with master's degrees approaching me, asking me questions about basic stuff I thought they should have known in IT. So, um, I just have a bachelor's degree, so it's just not what I thought it was. But yeah, I, I wouldn't disagree with what this what Joseph said here about a master's degree. Should you get a master's degree? Yeah, yeah, a master's degree is great on your resume. Like you can't, there's not too many things that are going to be above that. I think you can do well with a bachelor's degree. Personally, you can get six figures with a bachelor's degree in IT. It just depends on what skill set, how deep you go, and what area, and things like that. But if you want to know more about that about what to go into, how to make up to six figures, what degrees to get, how to do it. This one right here is a really good course for how to get to six figures in cybersecurity in particular, but I also kind of mention IT, different IT jobs that also can get you six figures. And you don't necessarily have to have a master's degree. In fact, a bachelor's degree is optimal because once you get to the master's degree, you're battling people who are up in like the upper 1% you know, <laughs> I don't want to speak ill of a master's degree. I think they're great. Maybe one day I'll, I'll get one. I doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. But <laughs> I'm not trying to talk crap about master's degrees. But should you get one? Yes. Do you? All right.